Good morning, sports fans. So today we're going to go over the MD380, the MD390, or any digital mobile handheld or mobile radio that you have, you need two, that you want to turn into a repeater. I've seen repeaters on the internet going for thousands of dollars, and, and I was trying to come up with a concept of how to make these two into a repeater. Well, I found an option that you can do, um, and it is the SD2 repeater box. Now, this is from Radio Diddy. Of course, it's from China, um, but uh, your receive would go here, and your transmission would go here. So you get this box, and I'm going to set this right here so you guys can see that. Um, and it comes with two cables, like so. That would obviously plug into where your microphone and stereo would go, and then this plugs into the box, and then vice versa with this cable as well. So we're going to go over the setup, hooking all this together, and seeing how it works. So stay with me. I'll hopefully go step by step if I miss a step. Let me know in the comments below, but we're going to go step by step. Okay. okay, guys, the only thing that I did was I took off the twist ties so you don't think I'm fast forwarding. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hook these up. So you take your radio, open the side here, take your plug, plug it in. While you're doing this, make sure your radios are off, of course. You, know, you don't want to be hooking something up while the radio is on just in case if you damage anything. Then you take your plug. And you screw that one down. Now, same thing for the other radio. And you plug it in. Again, this one's off too. Untangle the cords here. Plug her in. Now, this repeater box does not take any power. Um, it just uses the power from the radios. So there we have it. It's hooked up. Now I've got to go over the setup process. Obviously, you want a transmit uh, frequency and you want a receive frequency. So I'm going to work on that and we'll start the video back and I'll show you how they work, comma, <laughs> once I figure this out, guys. Sports fans, so we're back again. And I told you I would keep you up to date on any changes that I made. Uh, I did change the uh, RX frequency to 441.025 and then the TX frequency to 446.025. The reason I did that was because I was getting interference on 441.000. Uh, I changed it here and then I also changed the analog channel that I added to my MD9600. Now, same effect, I'm going to have to add uh, 441.025 and 446.025 for the MD380s for the repeater section, but I just wanted to show you that I made the change so that way somebody's not saying, well, what the heck? I made the change, but uh, we'll get to the other part of the video with the handheld sitting in front of the camera and showing you how everything works here shortly. Okay, sports fans, so we're back. We have everything set up. This is your receive, and this is your transmit side. Now, the frequencies are all set up. I'm going to use a different handheld that I already have set up just to show you guys that this does actually work. Test, test. This is Kilo Echo 7, a Foxtrot Echo India. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try this again. This time I'm going to use my uh, MD9600 uh, to uh, make the contact. Kilo Echo 7, Foxtrot Echo India, testing 1, 2, 3. 